Okay. Okay, I need to just give a new intro because it's a new video. It is, uh, what's it, Wednesday, 6 July. Uh, in the afternoon, we're doing a sales training uh, video. I'm here with Dean. Dean's going to start on the four quadrants, ready to fire. Okay, so um, I've discussed step one, step two, step three, step four. So for step one, I'm going to show you what your money is doing for you in the bank currently. Okay. All right. I'm going to use an example of 5,000 Rand. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. Okay. First reason is 5,000 is not too much. You agree with me? Yeah. Okay. Second reason is it's an easy number to calculate. Okay. And third reason is in your trading account, you need an initial 5,000 Rand to open the trading account. Nice. Okay. Okay, so what we've discussed is that you're earning 6% in the bank yeah. per annum. Okay. So if you can just calculate on the calculator here. Okay, so explain to me what I need to do. Um, just put in 5,000 into the calculator. 5,000 rand into the calculator? Yeah. Plus. Yeah. 6%. Yeah. And that gives you how much? Uh, it gives me an amount of 5,300 rand. Okay. So what I want to do quickly is I'm just going to change my color so it, uh, this stands out for you a bit. I want to ask you five questions. Okay. Okay, the first question is, what was your profit? My profit? Uh, my profit was 300 rand. Okay. So I'm just going to write it, write it here as well. Okay. All right, second question is, how long did that take you? Sure. It took me um, it took me a year. One year. Yes. Okay. How much did you have to start with? Uh, I started with five thousand rand. Five thousand rand. Okay. So how did this, someone like you? What can you do with three hundred rand per annum? So you work the whole year, end of the year you're going to get yourself 300 Rand from the interest in the bank. What yeah. can you practically do with 300, with 300 Rand a year? Um, sure. I think I can, I, can go to, I can go to the movies and maybe take, maybe take one of my children with. I don't think I can. Okay, so a movie. Yes. Let me ask you this last question. Is that worth it for you? No, it's not. Not worth it. Okay. Can I show you something interesting? Please. All right. What I want to show you is what this money is doing for you every single day in the year. Okay. So how would you find that number? Um, you would take the 300. Yeah. And you would divide it by... Uh, by what? 365 days of the year. Okay. So 300 divided by 365. Okay. 365 days, am I right? Mm -hmm. uh, that gives you 82 cents. Okay. And that is per day? Yes. So let me ask you something. Is that going to make you rich? No. Is that going to give you financial independence? No. Do you think this will help you reach your dreams and goals? No. Okay, so do you want to stay in this position? Definitely not. Okay, so you want to make a change? Yes. <laughs> are you sure? Yes. Okay, are you happy with what I've shown you here? Absolutely. Can I move on? <coughs> yes, you can. All right. So for step two, I'm going to show you share price movements so that you can understand how to read the share prices. Okay. All right. So what's important to know here is that at the bottom you have time. Yeah. Okay. Stock market opens in South Africa at 9 in the morning. Yeah. And it closes at 5 in the afternoon. Okay. Okay. On the left you can put rands and cents. Yeah. All right. All the way, every single second during the day, there's thousands of little uh, trades taking place. Yeah. Okay. All that our software does, and it does a lot more, but what it, one of the features is that it connects these dots and it makes a graph for you so you can easily read it. Okay. okay. So what happens here is this is day trading. 
You with me? Yeah. Okay. So what we do at Stock Market College is we teach you to buy the share when it's cheap. Yeah. Uh, important is that that is called your entry point. Okay. Okay. Then later on in the same day, we teach you to sell when the price is higher. Okay. And that is called your target point. Okay. What's important to know here is that the stock market can either move up or it can move down. Move down or it can stay the same. Okay. You happy with that? I understand it. All right. Um, this distance in between your buying and your selling point. Yeah. That represents your profit. Okay. Okay. So what our what our software does is it you can set these two points in the at the beginning of the day when you wake up. Yeah. Um, and you can so it will buy automatically and sell automatically. Okay. Do you think that is something that you can do? Yes. Okay. Yes. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Um, phone. Trade idea. Okay. All right, let me find a trade idea for you. Okay, cool. Um, shall we stop for a moment? I have to congratulate him. This trade idea right here. How good is he so far? He's good. He's brilliant. Really, really doing it. Um, According to the system. Yeah. There are very small uh, refinements that I can do for him. So let me talk about these refinements right now before we go too much further. Um, please remember the following. Every single time that you do a presentation, the person who you present to see it for the very first time. <laughs> They've never seen it. Your and my risk is that... Because we do this all the time, every single day, sometimes many times a day, you start assuming you get bored, you don't have the discipline to stick with the system, you start assuming that people know certain things. And then you start browsing over it, you take shortcuts, and then after a while you don't know why they're not buying. And then you really screw it up because you start making changes to your presentation and before you know it, you're not doing anything that we taught you to do. So please, I'm going to show you in the first area banks or policies, the one, only the one thing that he needs to scratch up slightly because you can quickly lose it there. The area where he can scratch it up is he didn't explain the calculate the interest per day as nicely as he could. If he sits with someone who doesn't know how this works, he would have struggled. He said to me, okay, you've got 300 rand and how do you, what was your words, how do you calculate your daily income or something like that? People are too stupid to do that. <laughs> the, the people you're going to present to, they're too stupid to do that on their own. Yeah, you've got to prompt them, okay, call it stupid, call it ignorant, um, if it comes out badly, I don't mean it that badly. Uh, I'll rant and rave and say, if you want to be successful in this job, you've got to be a good teacher. So what you do when you get to this part, I'll do the pitch to you, that part of the pitch. So let, let me make sure, uh, Dean, how much profit did you make for the year? 300. 300 rand. Yeah. Okay. So what I want to show you now is um, to calculate how much money you're actually making every day. So the first step to do that, Dean, is how many, how many days are there in a year? 365. Okay. So now I've got the money that I've made. Mm -hmm. I know the number of days that it took me to make it. Okay. How would I calculate how much money am I making per day? Divide it. Divide? 300. By? 365. And then I get... Um, 0 0.82 Everyone there? 
please go and re-watch this video. The wonderful thing about the YouTube video is you can forward and rewind, forward and rewind. You can cut all the other stuff that we've done out. If I'm Dean, all I want to do tonight is <coughs> 10 times listen to the part where it starts, where Dean said to me, okay, where he pitched that part. And if I was Dean, I'd just forward to this part where Ardis is now explaining and I'd say, let me compare the two and let me practice to do it better. Mm. That's all he needs to do in that area. Everyone there? Mm -hmm. What I particularly liked about him is this is an absolute winner. This is the kind of calculator that you want to have when you go and see people. No other calculator. You go to the Chinese mark and you buy this. Uh, let me explain to you why. Firstly, this thing is cheap. But more importantly, it is a simple calculator. You can only do four things with this. Maybe five things. Add, divide, minus, plus, plus, plus and calculate the percentage. Whatever you do, don't go there with a, a complicated calculator. That's the first thing. Practical advice. The second thing, practical advice, is most people that you see are as blind as I am. When you give a person, I, I've seen people, they've got calculators that's the size of Dean's Samsung phone. Now someone who can't see properly has got to take that kind of calculator. Maybe his fingers are so large he can't even press the buttons. He's got to try and read it for you. It's not conducive to a good sales presentation. So this is an inv investment that you make. You buy the biggest and the simplest and the cheapest calculator from a practical point. Everyone there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've got the recording back on. I want to just go to the area where he explained the share price movements. Um, the only improvement that I believe he can make is you need to bring in the part of the market goes up, down or sideways earlier. Yeah, I normally do. Okay, so you, you fumbled it now yeah. because <laughs> it was the role play. Yeah. So if I uh, redo that part of the role play, what Dean was supposed to say is, okay, here's a graph. Um, we have time here at the bottom. The market actually starts trading at 9 o'clock and it goes until 5 o'clock. Um, this time we put rands and cents here. And obviously the important thing to understand about stock market shares can only go up, down or sideways. Can't move anywhere else. So what happens when the market starts trading at 9 o'clock? We have our first trade. And then every single second after that, the share price is either going up, down, or staying the same. So when the market trades, every second, thousands of transactions take place. So what our software does is it plot these points, and then simply takes a line and join the points, and now I get these share price movements. How do you make money from the stock market? It's quite simple. What you want to do is buy some shares when they're low, we call this the entry point, and obviously sell them when they're high. Later that day, ideally, we call that your target. And then what's quite cool is the difference between where you bought and where you sold, that's your profit. Everyone there? So, I made a note here on the side, and I wrote the word concept. And then I added an S, and I don't know why, so I'm going to quickly delete the S. The whole... Let me not say it. Let me ask it. If you know the answer, stick up your hand. Don't, don't shout out. Okay? Here's my question. Why do I go to the effort in a sales presentation to explain share price movements to my client? Now, I just want to say this before you even stick up your hand and you start giving me answers. This, what I'm saying on this recording now, is valuable. Because very rarely in the sales training session do I touch on this and make sure that people become familiar with what I'm saying right now. So, before Dan sticks up your hand, let me repeat the question. What is the aim why do I go to the trouble of explaining share price movements in my sales presentation? Who knows? Stick up your hand. Dan knows? No one else? You know? Uh, don't say. 
obviously, the, here is the secret. 